Our most complete picture of life on Earth is coming into focus. A stunning new NASA time-lapse video comes, crams 20 years into just a few minutes. It is helping scientists learn a lot more about global warming and how the Earth is changing. Chip Reed is at NASA's Goddard Space Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. The scientists we talked to called this place paradise for geeks. And what they're geeking out about now is that new toy for studying what's happening to the oceans and what it means for us. It's one of a kind. It's never been done before. And so being able to capture land, ocean, atmosphere, ice over 20 years together, it's insanely cool. It rings your bell. <laughs> it totally does. Stage one ignition. NASA launched the first of three satellites in 1997, allowing them to track life on Earth through 20 years of satellite imaging. Bottom line, what are you seeing? The planet getting warmer over these 20 years? Absolutely. NASA oceanographer Dr. Jeremy Werdell says the data help show how our planet is changing. What are you seeing in terms of water levels, ocean levels? Um, generally speaking, ocean levels are rising. Now they, they r rise slowly. It's like watching ice cubes melt in a glass of soda. What's causing these changes in color are changes in gazillions of microscopic creatures called phytoplankton. You love these little guys. <laughs> We're geeks here. I'm sorry. We do. I, I do love these guys. They, I mean, they're just so, I mean, first they're useful to the society, they feed us, they give us oxygen, but they're just so beautiful. The tiny ocean organisms Dr. Ivona Satinich studies, along with plants on the ground, pull carbon dioxide out of the air and help make human life possible. How many phytoplankton cells are in this bottle, would you guess? I would say 20 million. 20 million. These building blocks of life are at the wow. bottom of the food yep. chain, and Satinich says as they change, so does Earth's ecosystem. It's really cool. This data set is powerful because it tells us what's happening now, what happened in the past, but also what's going to happen in the future. Yes, it's complicated, but one way to think about all this is that scientists are keeping track of all of these phytoplankton in the oceans so that they have kind of an early warning system on what's happening to the Earth as it heats up. And to help them do their jobs even better, they're sending up another satellite tomorrow. All right, Chip. It may be complicated, but you can certainly feel the enthusiasm from Dr. Jeremy oh, yeah. and, and Dr. Alona. I like yeah. that. And you can see how the world, is, the ecosystem is so connected. Yes. Yeah. Insanely and cool. Chip could must be a prof Professor Chip Reed <laughs> yeah, there, know. you know? I mean, that was excellent, Chip. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Reed, you're looking good. Thank you, Chip. <laughs> Thank you very much.